complete my setup. I just shoved my whole sleeping bag right in the bottom. No, I didn't bag it because I figured I'd just shove it in there as it is and let it fill out the spot. I said pad reflectix and then so the uh, the idea with the uh, closed cell foam it takes the brunt of the ground this redirects heat back up and then this is just pure comfort I didn't carry anything out I carried stuff from the car so I'm just car camping so I didn't have to backpack it in or anything so, although a uh, torso only um, maybe mid thigh to I don't know, maybe up to your head to about four foot close cell foam pad might be nice just to lay on the ground under your sleeping pad just so you have the the brunt taken, but I don't want to cut this one so might be a little dark in here, but there we go. Got the uh mummy bag pillow, literally three sleeping pads and the ground sheet. Okay, I gotta say, good looking setup. The tent itself is, uh, I like it. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty, it's a sweet looking tent, I think. And the beauty part about it is, if, if you didn't see the video, I'll make sure, there'll be a, there'll be a, probably a, I'll probably throw a card right here. Like right here, there'll be a card for the, uh, the initial unboxing video and setup. Now I didn't show a lot of the setup, you're probably wondering why. Because I'm not good at setting it up. Because This is literally the third time I've set it up. And uh, because it's a full uh, full tent, not just a half dome. Um, you know, it's supposed to be set up by two people. And uh, I did it by myself. And what I typically, what I end up doing is there is a trick to the poles by the way you fold it and all that. I didn't bother doing that. I just... Uh, I put the one pole in and then I staked the two corners out and then I was able just to, and then it just kind of came together. And then this ground here, there's like two inches of dirt and the rest is all just pure rock. <laughs> uh, I got rocks all over because uh, there's a riverbed real close. So probably this area wouldn't surprise me during the, the heavy winter gets, uh, gets a lot of snow here and also because uh, snow and also you know, the river, when it gets high, it might wash up here. Because there's a stream right over here. So, this might flood out. It's all that washed all the dirt away and left nothing but rock. 
That's my suspicion. If I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will, no, no, it's this. Like, okay, well, check the comment section. So, bed is set. Time is it? It is. Got my cell phone. Uh, oh, it's only 1.30. So, plenty of evening to do stuff. I got two people over here camping. I got three more out just doing something. Not really quite sure what they're off doing, but I think I think I heard store run. So, okay. So, uh, if you're wondering about where I am this week, and I am uh, out, I'm actually uh, last week I had planned on jumping the pass, so that's what I did this weekend. Uh, my buddy Kevin was like, "Come on, man, let's just go." I checked the weather; it said rain. I'm like, "It's raining, though, Kevin." And he's like. But then like the next day it was not raining. And I said, cool, let's do this. And uh, this morning I didn't check the weather. I mean, it, it sprinkled a little bit, but it's not, uh, you know, whatever. I got a big tarp just in case it's in the car. If you need to, I can go string it up. I'm not anticipating needing to, but if I have to, I have it. So a little bit of rain I can deal with. If it's just, just all the constant, then I'm not a happy camper and it's good and honestly and you know I get crap for it I'm like come on man get out there in the rain I think I, I'm not having fun and it in it not having fun really comes through in the videos so it's like you want to see shitty videos I mean I don't want to I don't want to put up shitty videos so I don't know why you'd want to watch shitty videos so I wouldn't be happy with the content it's like here's me mm, mm, rain me mm, for uh, however X many videos so no one wants to see that I spared you all the trouble <laughs> so I might walk up to the road and get some scenery shots uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna go out and do a bunch of sightseeing on my way out because uh, I still want to stop at the lake I was gonna camp at because I want to pre-scout it so basically drive back to town get gas because I uh, I missed the turnoff coming up here I ended up going all the way up and over the pass and I end up all the way down on the other side in the valley and then I realized this doesn't look right because I, I didn't see the sign I was watching for signs is where to turn left and I, I missed it so and there's a lot of really good camping on this road unfortunately because it's eastern Washington it gets less rainfall on this on this side than what than the western side so we get burn bands much quicker uh, because of the uh, weather so it might be a deal where you can use like little camp stoves and stuff, but campfires are huge. Excuse me, big no-no. So yeah. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna go be social for a bit, and then I'm gonna go and uh, maybe do some little sightseeing around and show you guys some sights. And yeah. So wow, four minutes. I've been rambling. Let's quit rambling and get to it. Things I'll never turn down. Steak and butter. <laughs> right? That's like saying no to bacon. Use as much as you want. I got another stick. And there the stick goes in. <laughs> yeah, you need some kind of oil in there. Butter works good. Yeah, technically you don't, but it never hurts to have butter. Right, there's the part. What time is it? <laughs> I uh, let it go too early. <laughs> Just throw the whole thing in. <laughs> Can't have too much.
Makes everything nice. Hey, you got your guys stock yesterday and gave it to the dog. Yeah. <laughs> coming from they're like oh we're at this camp down there and they kind of look at each other like you guys rode these up here I'm like yeah you're right so you start having fun I'm like wow okay <laughs> they just thought the trail was too hard for us so be right tires are this size compared to that well apparently you're doing it yeah we can go, we can lift the bikes up over anything that yeah, we, we can't ride up. Yeah. I went on one trail that we call Hell Hill. I tried taking the 200 of it. I could never take the 200 of it. I never fucking made it. It was too fucking tough with the steep of the hill. It had um, a spot where you had to fucking fly up it, land, gas it, and still continue to go up this fucking steep ass hill. The problem is, is every time you fly up it, kind of a candy flavor. Got a smoky flavor. Okay. Yeah. 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 Smart if they did it. Is that morel? I went down to the trail down there, or when I went down mm. to the pavement to go get firewood, there was like eight huh. bikes and quad. Okay, I'll try it. They yeah. were out riding somewhere. I don't know where they were riding from. <laughs> That's an interesting water bag. Yeah. Holds up when you're done. Yep. Just filtering some water. Yep. Yeah. Now it's water from home. I've had it, uh, man, I've had it a long time. Just, uh... Where's the hold? One gallon? 96 ounces. Plus a little bit more. Does it have a filtration system with it, or is it just a bag? Just water from, it's just a bag, but it's water from home. Yeah. yeah, I use it for, um... When I filter, like, a large amount of water with, like, a, a pump-style filter, I'll just filter it in this. I wonder if my MSR would fit that. My MSR has got a big lid screw, big, big lip water bottle. Yeah. 